<laughs> Connor, welcome back. Sixth episode. Welcome, Scotty. How are you, mate? Look, I'm um, very well. You're a busy man as well with your university commitments, but you've taken your time out of the day to the brief study break, I'm sure. No procrastination. Oh, yeah. Brief, yeah. Yeah, yeah very brief. Yeah, <laughs> and you, no, I'm good to you. You're here to enlighten the fellow traders and people wanting to get into trading and we're talking pips again. We're having fun. How's uh, How is the trading going for March? How did it end up for you? I tell you what, Scotty, Pippin ain't easy. Uh, I, was doing, yeah. I was doing well and then I got stopped out of the half out of the Hungarian foreign and then I am currently still in the uh, USD Swedish krona and I'm in the red on that. So I broke even at the end of it. I was almost going to gloat and say that it was a, a successful month, but it didn't happen. Well, you followed the rules though. So that's the most important thing that you sort of, you kept to. So it's, yeah. it's just, and that's important for people to understand. It's the hardest thing is that you back test your strategy. Well, hopefully you do. And then you just have a statistical you know, glance at that and say, well, I can expect a, a period where I lose a few times in a row or break even and then you'll have a few big winners and you just have to wait it out and then you'll eventually, you know, hit a nice runner and you'll be happy again. So, now look. I think, I think where I sort of, one thing I didn't take into account, which I've learned from, is uh, not taking into account some of those spreads on the exotic pairs. Mm. Yeah, uh, yes, I'll bring up like the Euro Polish Slotty, for example. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, Yes, I've got that up and that. <laughs> that should be running. See, that's running pretty well. I would have done all, all right on that, but I did not take into consideration the, the spread. I've got it up here. So that was a sell trade for the record? Yes. Yeah, okay, I've got it up and I can see. Yeah, so viewers, you can see what happened and you were just... It was off the kangaroo tail. Yeah, I've got. So, yeah, I thought yeah. it would have been. So it would have cool. been. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but was that you on know, Monday that's... or when was that? During no, no, the week? it was. It was during the week. Everything was right. It was just that yeah, the, yeah. I didn't take the spread because it's got a hefty spread on it, um, and that's worth taking into consideration, of course. In the book, but yeah. it's all about it's all about the learning curve. I'm not pretending I'm some great. It is, and analyst. look, guys, that's you know you got the demo account for a reason, and that's why it's an important learning tool because if you you're just losing you know virtual funds but um are well, you going to do the uh you're going to do the the warning I, I yeah yes all right so guys um just before we start giving advice and we look at the charts it's important to note that forex is it's a high risk investment option and you can lose more than your initial investment as well so please just take what we say as general advice and we're doing this for an educational reference and a little bit of entertainment as well. So we're not giving professional advice and we're not qualified to do so. So please be careful if you wish to start your trading journey, you know, start learning properly or use a managed account. Um, Walter Peters in the forum starting a fund, Orion, um, that's going to be launching soon. So don't, don't trade with real money until you've really thoroughly understand market movements and just take your time and just be careful and please do not get into trades on our advice we're not recommending you do that at all so yeah i would you. say i would say yeah don't listen to uh yeah 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 but more listen if, you, if you're really interested go to uh nakedforexnow.com and, and sign up with them because that's what we've done and we've had vast yes. improvement wouldn't yeah. you agree i honestly yeah like walter is there's a lot of material there that will really help things that you wouldn't even think were going to help you trading, like psychology and and then if there's setups, you know, all the currency pairs are there. You've got professional traders giving advice. Walter replies eventually sometimes, but there's so many other traders that are very helpful. Like they'll, you know, you get one of the guys on there, you know, does all your statistics for your backtesting for free. So it's like, is your own you know, professional statistician. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. it's very helpful. 
you just have to ask as well, you know, like there's a lot of people on the forum and I'm sure they're watching this as well who don't seem to involve themselves much with the forum. They just sort of come in and look and don't say anything, but feel free to, you know, comment and, you know, give you feedback and, you know, we're yeah. both novice traders as well. So we're trying to breach the gap here because a lot of people think trading and they either think it's a scam right away or they think it's too hard and you've got to be too mathematical focus to get in into the world of Forex successfully. Yeah. Which is far from the truth though as when it comes to when it comes to Forex. It's just but um so anyway, you, yep. You wanted to look at you wanted to look at the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, didn't you? I did. I did. And I've look, this this trade here guys, I didn't I didn't take this trade, but it's important to note uh, why I didn't take the trade and I just want to give a few rules and just some basics and how you want to set your charts up to avoid doing this as well. I'll just open up. I've actually been on the live account. The live account is not what I trade guys. That's actually a managed account and that's with a trader that is running a fund. So that's important to note. So I don't actually trade real money. That's that's not what I... Well, we both did it in the start, didn't we, kind of? Oh, yeah, it ended, ended up great for us, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, millionaires in like... Yeah. Gosh, look, it's really <laughs> crazy. Just be very careful out there, guys, because you've got people running around saying, you know, it seems like it's a 10 grand a week is like the go-to thing to say. It's like, oh, yeah. that sounds really good. And it's just, just crazy how people can get away with you know, saying that and it's just people so gullible or I don't understand how they can get away with that. Well, it's All just right. that people don't understand the risk or leverage or things like that. So, yeah, I feel sorry for them. Yeah, that's right. You, do, you, do, you don't want to over leverage, guys. It's just, no, it's just going to end in tears, really. Yeah. Have you got the? Uh, have you got it in front of you? No, it's it's. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, we've got the pound New Zealand dollar, the daily charts up, Connor. All right. Yes. And I'll just zoom in now. So, the the initial setup presented, and it was on a Thursday, um, and obviously these these are daily candles. And as you can see here, I've got the mouse cursor on the engulfing bar, or a big shadow to water fans. And you can see, look, I was pretty, I was pretty keen on that. Is it with a trend? It is. If you apply, you know, I like to operate using uh, a 20 day moving average and that's just because that's what I'm familiar with and that's what I've tested with, but it's more, you know, it's more a visual cue. It doesn't actually tell you anything really. So if you put that into the chart, you see it's trading above that and an important thing to note is, so we put, so let's say you want to work out your resistance levels and support levels. You put it onto the line graph, as I've just demonstrated, and most platforms will be very similar to the, the OANDA one. And then you click the line, and then, you know, having the grids there is, is helpful. And then you can clearly see we've had, a, you know, especially on the weekly, if I get the weekly up, and you can see that that's respected that. There's one touch there that's... You know, it's a zone. It doesn't have to be a strict level per se. So you can see there's a good, you know, three touches around that, you know, 179 level. And that's why I didn't take the trade. Although initially I was keen as mustard. I was like, oh, this is great. So an important thing to note is before you jump into a trade, that's why we encourage pending orders. Because with a pending order, you have to take time and the trade won't trigger straight away. So if you have it five pips above, you know, you got to wait for the candle to close as well. So, and then it gives you more time to dissect, you know, things. So that's I've important. Got, yep. I've got here, Scotty, if you get your, uh, your ruler out or whatever. So if you were to, where the support and resistance line is, if you were to like get the ruler out and put it to the top of that big shadow, I've got roughly a hundred and I've got 178 pips. All right, yep. so that's what you'd risk. And then to the support and resistance line, I have got about 100, uh, 97 pips I've got. So the yep. risk to reward for that for me just because it's got such a good chance of jumping off, uh, bouncing yes, back off the, very, So it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be yep. good enough for me. And that's just my basic two cents that I'm willing to give. So 
what what kind of saying everyone is so look the space there between the end of that candle the resistance is around you know 100 pips as you can see there's not a lot of space there but the size of the candle where you'd have to put your stop loss is considerably more so what we're referring to with risk reward is you're risking that money to make that money and as you can see how many times has price failed to get through here and as you can see that that kangaroo tail they're called as as I'm putting the mouse cursor on that's very recent so it's gone it's touched it it's absolutely rejected it's gone down again then we've had this which looks nice on its own that candle and, and the other candle that's an engulfing setup it's pretty sweet but and it's cruel because it's triggered it would have triggered if you didn't pay attention to the resistance and then it's gone back down again and you're pretty much just well you're in drawdown if you did get into the trade so it'd be unfortunate little situation but anyway that, that those are my two cents guys Connor was there anything that you I was sort of just I'm just contemplating like between as a realistic golf Scotty what do you think would be realistic to try and make for this year percent wise because I, you know yeah, a tripling your accounts not going to happen uh, no, and and if it kept and when uh, that's a great thing to say, triple their account. If people triple their account every year, we'd have so many billionaires walking around. It'd be it'd be ridiculous. You Look, know what I mean? Be, I I made one percent last month, um, and that yeah. was my first profitable month since October. Yeah. That I started demo testing, so. <laughs> um, but that's so, if you did that over a year, that's twelve percent. I think that's quite good. Yeah, I would agree because you're going to have some months once you start trading. Because I reckon January is very slow, February is very slow. So if you can do one percent there, and then you might have some months where you do a little bit more, you'll even out. So if you actually have you know no trades in one month and another month, and then you have you know two percent in a high volume month and another two percent. You can do that. So I reckon a month, uh, a percent a month is realistic. And you, once you start seeing stuff that says 50% a month, to actually work that out how many trades that person has taken, because there's only 20 trading days in a month, because the weekends aren't open for trading, then you go, wow, that's a lot of stuff that that person's doing. And if they're making that, they're risking quite a lot. So... That, that that concerns you if you're someone who's conservative with their risk of trading? Oh, yeah, definitely, yes. All right. What Are there any other charts that you want to have a peruse of? Should no. we go through the... Is there anything... What I'll do is I'll just see <laughs> the Aussie dollars. There's nothing. I've, I've looked over everything. There's nothing that I'm actually uh, interested in. It was just that because I... Uh, just lost that two percent so quickly last month, mm. and you know and that adds up. That takes a big chunk out of it. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm thinking it must be, you know, what's realistic to make for the year, because I have heard these things about such and such tripling their account in six months, this, that, mm. and the other. Mm. But how often is that actually happening? And what? Yeah, I'd like to know if there's anyone out there actually yeah. who can get back, get back to us, and what yeah. would be a real reasonable goal for the. And we, we put this video out everywhere. So if someone does feel, and we have our contact details, I leave it in the description section as well. Do we still have the same email address as well, Connor? Yeah, that's uh, trade talk pippin and easy at outlook.com, or you can mm -hmm. get us on Twitter at trade talk pippin. I'll bring up the, um, I'll bring that up as well. I'll bring the Twitter up just to show everyone. You know the page and whatnot, and so no, no open positions. Oh no, you do have one open position. I do. I'm in the red at the moment. Uh, we can get back to that uh, for those who watch the other podcasts. Uh, it's the uh, USD Swedish Krona. So I'll let you guys know what happens to that if it uh, closes out on me or if it, uh, you know, makes a comeback. Yes, hopefully it does. But um. We'll finish on the Twitter page, guys. For everyone following us, thank you very much. We post the video up here very regularly as well. And, you know, thanks again, Connor, for sharing your insights and, you know, your, your trading knowledge and style oh, of trading. You're more than welcome. More than welcome.
Oh, excellent. Thanks. Until next week, guys. It's, it's every week we're putting out a video. So thanks for watching. And until next time, you know, happy trading. Thanks, Connor. Bye, y'all. Yep.